After a busy December and January, we kind of hit the brakes on rain and snow here in the Treasure Valley, except for today. Obviously, we're getting some snow out there right now. Our neighboring states to the west, though, they continue to see round after round. Today, we're answering your questions about why sometimes that rain and snow doesn't quite make it to us. Our meteorologist Sophia Bliss explains. You may have noticed that when wet and busy weather slams the Pacific coast, a lot of that moisture doesn't make it to Idaho. Just recently, rounds and rounds of moisture that seemed endless slammed into California, bringing flooding, mudslides, sinkholes, and burying communities in feet of snow. Meanwhile, in Idaho, a very different picture. We got some showers and the mountains picked up a couple inches of snow. Part of the reason for that has to do with the path the moisture takes to get here. On its journey inland, the moisture has to go over several mountain ranges. As the air approaches the mountains, the only place for the air to go is up. The air parcel has to lighten its load. The air cools and so the moisture condenses out as the air goes over the mountain. The air heads down the leeward side where it warms and dries. You might be familiar with this principle. Your KTVB meteorologists mention it from time to time. It's called orographics. If the storm track comes in directly from the west, the moisture has to cross the Cascade Mountain Range, the Blue Mountain Range, the High Lava Plains, and the Owyhee Mountains. The moisture lessens each time it passes over a mountain range. So the heavy rains that Oregon and Washington see end up being much lighter when they make it to the Gem State.